Hey guys, uh, this is Dalton TK423 Studios here, and today we're going to do something pretty awesome. We are going to unbox my first cell phone. Yeah, um, I'm 16 years old, and I got this phone secondhand from my mom. It was her old phone, and we're going to unbox it today. The largest digital voice and data network in America. Singular. Singular was the best company ever. I mean, they had really good service. And they had really good ad campaigns. They were actually nice to their customers on the phone. Um, unlike the AT&T of today, which totally sucks. We have Singular. So, you may ask, what phone was my first phone? And we have it right here. It is a Nokia 90, 8390. In the original box with all the original stuff, the original charger that hasn't even been unwrapped yet, the uh, original dock, the phone, a couple of batteries, original SIM card. So first, let's take a look around the box. First, we've got the phone itself, which is, this is just the generic gray and white one. Mine was a different color than this. Singular. On the side of the box. Numbers that probably don't mean anything nowadays. Some stuff about Singular. You can go to Singular.com. Copyright 2002 by Nokia. This was the American version of this phone, which only runs on the 1900 megahertz system. So I guess you'd say it's a single band phone. Here's the features. See, only 1900 megahertz. Oh man, it only weighs 2.9 ounces. Battery life is way more than four hours. This thing lasts a month on a battery. Some pretty good little features there. Has a voice command. It's pretty cool. Can record conversations. Synchronize with your PC. can play with two players via infrared. High speed data via GPRS. I've actually never tested it, so maybe we'll test it out today. So since this is a singular phone, which is now bought out by AT&T, they still use the same SIM cards, same network, same towers. So you'd think this phone would still work great, right? Well, you're 100% correct. You can still use this phone on today's uh, AT&T network. So here's the box. First of all, let's start out. Yeah, there's the phone. First of all, let's start out with the manual. Brand new, still in the packs, heat shrink packaging. There it is. Nokia 8390 welcome guide. There it is. Got the phone itself. Let's show you that in a minute. We got a brand new Nokia charger. Never used. Brand new. Still in the packaging. This phone is awesome. It came with a dock, which I actually used every night, so that's pretty dinged up, but it works. You plug the regular old charger right into the back. The cool thing about this phone is you can either use this little charging. Uh, plug for the dock and then plug the phone into the dock or you can plug this right into the bottom of the phone it's pretty cool so there's the dock we have the original sim card that I got with this phone um, focus 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 there we are 18t smart chip no longer activated 3g this phone doesn't even support 3G, but I somehow have a 3G SIM card. But this was my SIM card. There's that. Let's get down to the phone itself. 
is the red model, red version. There it is, still in the original packaging. It's pretty beat up, but let's pull it out. These things are like tanks. Drop them, run them over with a car, do anything you want. Still survives, still works. There it is. It's pretty cool. I also have an extra battery in here. In the original battery wrapping, right there. It's pretty cool. This battery no longer holds a charge, very sadly. But this one does battery that's in here. It's powered up. <clears throat> Boom. Start up. That was quick, huh? Full bars. Full battery. Let's take a look at some of these ringtones. Got messages, call log, profiles. Settings, games, let's take a look what we got. Snowboarding, skate two, bumper, pairs two, snake, that game's fun. Calculator, you know, just a boring calculator. I do not know what processor this phone has, um, but I'd like to find out. It has a lock button, which is also the power button. It's pretty cool. First phone to ever have that. Just a basic calculator right there. To-do list. Look at that. First ever reminders. Apple did, Apple didn't really invent that one, did they? Nokia. Got a calendar. Infrared, which is actually right underneath this right there. Extras. Voice recorder. Voice commands. Countdown timer. And a stopwatch. You do actually have the World Wide Web on here. Um, I haven't tried it, so let's give it a try. Now i got to set the time. I have no clue what time it is. So let's just type in... I don't know, let's just say okay. Sure. No. Uh, let's hit accept. Yep, this was internet back in 2002, and you could get this phone. You had to wait for it to connect to GPRS. Man, this gets shaky very easily. It does have wear right here. That's why it gets kind of clear right in there. But check that out. Look how small that is. For comparison, let me go grab an iPhone over here. Throw the SIM card the SIM card tray back in there. It's the comparison between an iPhone. It's actually iPhone 4S. It's not much thicker actually. It's about it's about twice as thick as the iPhone. It still says connecting to GPRS. Maybe the time had something to do with it. No gateway reply. Service inbox. What is that? I'm guessing that's email. Clear the cache. Let's try settings. Express. Appearance. Cookie settings. Authority. Anyway, those are some features. Let me show you some ringtones. You're going to think these are pretty cool. Check this out. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for these, even though they're beeps. Some pretty classic ones right there. Let me show you another pretty cool one. This one's pretty cool. Hmm. This thing has a crap load of ringtones on it. Right there. It's pretty cool.
I think I normally had my uh, this phone set on this ringtone. Maybe this one. It's got some pretty cool little ringtones. It's got a ton. I just keep it normally on the Nokia tune though. So there's that. And here it is on the cradle. Boom. There we go. Just sits on the cradle just like that. This is exactly what this phone would have looked like unboxing it from Singular the day you picked it up from the store. So, pager normal. It has these pretty cool preset um, ringing options. You can get your outdoor, your pager, your meeting, your silent, normal. It's got all kinds of stuff. What's that in settings? Alarm clock. Time settings, call settings, phone settings, tone settings, accessory settings, GPRS modem. Let's check that out. Ac access point one. Hmm, I don't know. I wonder if I took this in the AT&T, they probably laughed me out the door. Calendar. And that is wrong, obviously, because it says set the date wrong. Infrared. Anyway, I'll shut the phone down now and I'll show you what it looks like. Because these Nokia's, you can pull the covers off. Pull the back, pull the battery off, uh, cover off. Push your finger on this and release. Boom, phone's apart. Look how easy that is. Phone's taken apart already. Look at that. Not like today, an iPhone, you gotta have squeegee tools and these little tiny screws on your yeah little tiny screwdriver and you get to pry it apart this thing no tools required pop it apart pull your keyboard out throw a different keyboard on throw a different color case on i do have a black case for this phone this phone originally was red by the way but i do have the um accessory case the black from singular it's just on it's on another one of these phones right now but the other one is, is broken it's just kind of on display um but anyway put it back on you just plain and simple set it back on pop make sure it's in bottom's just on and just make sure so I line the back cover up with these notches and just there you go and this phone still makes calls receives texts sends texts rings it does everything it used to do except GPRS is a little messed up but um yeah so this is a unboxing slash review I guess you'd call it of the pretty awesome little Nokia 80, uh, 8390 there we are and yes this was my first cell phone thank you for watching